There is something definitely special about when all the Weasleys are, are together. We do gel like a family. It really does show on camera as well. Stop! Stop it! Yeah, I always thought my family were quite similar to the Weasleys, really. So I um, always felt a, quite a connection to them. Harry. For Harry. They are a sort of haven. It's the only family, really, that he's got. not Fred, I am. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. Oh, I'm sorry, George. First time we met Julie was at King's Cross Station on the first film. And um, it was a freezing cold January morning. Action. And then all of a sudden you just hear from the back of the train, where are my boys? Where are my children? And then Julie came in, that's how we met Julie. And then we met Mark on the Chamber of Secrets. That's when he came into it. And it was just like, click, like it all, it all just came together. And... Mummy, have you seen my jumper? Yes, dear, it was on the cat. Hello. I think Chris Columbus definitely kind of build that first family, which the other directors then went on to sort of, you know, build and change in their way. Because he was such a family man himself, then he definitely made that friendship between everyone well. Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. Did you really? How'd it go? Oh, oh, yeah. Mark and Julie offer such perfect sort of examples of a kind of really relaxed but kind of cool parents. She's had a bit too much hair. They do sort of embarrassing things that parents do, yet also they offer like a sense of, of a good family. Go! We've been together for ten years, a very successful marriage. Mind you, we only see one another once a year. But, you know, that's probably the answer to a successful marriage. Oh, Harry, thank goodness we hope you'd only gone one grade too far. For Harry, the unit that is the Weasley family is definitely the centre. It's the only sense of belonging he really has. Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. Harry's coming from, you know, the family background that he does. As an orphan who's grown up in quite a, in a very unpleasant environment with the Dursleys, the importance of friendship and friendship as the family is probably the main theme. Mrs. Weasley. Good to see you, dear. Good to see you too. Now have you got everything you need? Yep. yep. Yes, right. all of your books. Yeah, it's all upstairs. And all of your clothes. Everything's there. Good boy. Thank you. Harry is is like a son to Mrs. Weasley, and so he's getting some mother's love, and he and siblings, and and a father figure who's, who's protective and gives him good advice, and and it's a place for him to be part of a, a normal family life. So it's a lovely part to play. It's not much, but it's home. I think it's brilliant. 